we all know that Aaron Donald is the best D-tackled in the world. I wouldn't even lie to you. I don't know anyone that's better than the undersized d lineman. He has came in and absolutely took over the NFL. And we know how Aaron Donald got picked in the first round in the 13 overall pick. He absolutely went ballistics in this bowl practice. But we are going to put Aaron Donald in today's rosters in college football to see if he could win Heisman. But as you can see, we have three goals. Win Heisman, national champs, and at least four that sad. Going into the first practice, Aaron Donald absolutely was getting blocked up and sacked the quarterback with a sack early on. And he goes in and bam, oh my God. Coach said, Aaron Donald, chill, stop hitting the QB that hard. And he said, Coach, I'm sorry, but bam, I'm coming for my respect. And Coach said, great job practicing, but don't hit the QB that hard again. Going into Aaron Donald's first game, he has to come out here intense if he wants to win that Heisman this year. And he has to set a high standard. I mean, coming out this game, he better break that sack record early on. But on first and 10, he comes and absolutely got a little too excited. After making two tackles early in the game, he kind of missed one. He absolutely went up to coach and said, I'm sorry, I will not miss another one again. But on second and four, bam, he absolutely cleaned his quarterback clock. He said, yeah, baby, Aaron Donald is here. Not that seven, y'all better watch out. Bam, oh my God, I won't come in. Bam, oh my God, I'm cleaning clock for the rest of the game. I mean, he's absolutely setting a tone with getting a safety like that, but on third and nine, he was sitting back in the zone and went and got a tackle, but he still got a gain of too much, but on third and 17, look at that long arm and hit that quarterback with a hurry. But on first and 10, that running back's running that ball, but I absolutely drill him to the ground. But on fourth and seven, I went and got that quarterback and wrapped and rolled him. I'm not gonna lie to you, Aaron Donald is going ballistics right now, but as you can see on first and 10, he absolutely clubs over rips and wraps and rolled the quarterback again, but on third and bam, oh my God. He went in and misses the sack, but his teammate will get it. He goes on to get 12 total tackles and three sacks. Going to our next game against New Mexico. As you can see, Aaron Donald scared the quarterback and made him kneel the ball early on. And he was wiggling on the ground to get the game started. But on third and 16, he wraps and rolled the quarterback for a sack early on. But on third and 11, he absolutely made this tackle miss him. Oh, my God. But on second and 13, this is why you never give up on the play. They fumbled the ball. Aaron Donald went and got a tackle. But on first and 10, as you can see, we'll get to that running back shoestring. You're not going anywhere. But on second and three, Boom! And Aaron Donald got up and said, ah, let's go! New Mexico, you might not want any parts when he gets fired up like that, but he absolutely blocks the ball. Almost one hand intercepted that, but as you can see, he brings him down for a tackle. No second 11, he catches him in the backfield, helicopters him. But as you can see, he ends the game off with seven total tackles and two sacks. On the tour next game, bam, that's how you put your hands in somebody's sternum and go get a sack. That is different. But as you can see, Aaron Donald started that game off intense, and on third and 15, he went and got another sack. He is not playing with you today. On first and 10, he comes over, rips and goes, get another sack on the quarterback. He is not playing, and he looked him down with some disrespect. I'm not going to lie. When Aaron Donald gets like this, you better watch out. But on third and 10, he absolutely had a sack, but he misangled the QB. Playing D-line, you have to have great ball get off. And Aaron Donald has one of the greatest in the world, but oh my God, as you can see, he gets another sack, but oh my God, club over, rip, and he goes and shoot strings that quarterback. He is not playing. We're going to win the game, and Aaron Donald gets player of the game with seven total tackles and five sacks. Into our next game against Virginia. Oh my God, oh my God. That's how you use your hands when you get off of that D-line. Make sure you have some ball get off as well. But on second and nine, Aaron Donald was in a zone and he went and got this quarterback with bad intentions. But on third and 19, what was the tackle doing? I ran right by him. He doesn't want to block. But as you can see, I go and sling the quarterback to the ground. He doesn't want to protect this quarterback today. But on second and 11, I hit his quarterback again and absolutely took ACL, MCL out. I'm not going to lie to you with the technique that Aaron Donald has. No one in today's roster will block him. But look how he wraps and roll with another tackle. But as you can see, he ends the game off with eight total tackles and four total sacks. It's also a blessing for Aaron Donald and his team to be ranked number seven in the country. I mean, Pete is going to get a national championship with the best D lineman in the world. But as you can see on second and nine, he goes and get another gang tackle with his team. But as you can see on third and 11, I tell you, throw an old lineman on the ground, get away from him and go watch a teammate get a sack. I mean, how about it? But on third and 14, I bam, oh my God, I absolutely obliterated this quarterback and I don't think he wanted to get up after that. But on second and 10, as you can see, I run by the tackle again, hit the quarterback, and almost threw an interception. That was a nice hurry. But on third and 10, I go and get another sack. And I mean, I didn't have a so well game, but I ended the game off with three total tackles and three sacks. I mean, hey, going to our next game against four and three old to me. And when we go against a team like this, we lick our chops. I mean, we're hungry today. We're coming on first and 10. Aaron Donald absolutely hit that quarterback. And oh my God, he's on that ground. But we will go get a turnover. And 
look when Aaron Donald hit you. I mean, I mean, no disrespect, but the quarterback's are He's down. But on first and 10, bam, oh, my God. I absolutely obliterated the running back. was fired up. But on third and 15, I went and got a sack on the backup QB. But on third and eight, I get another sack, and I'm having a ball out game. Bam, Aaron Donald is not playing. I told you he's the best in the world. But on second and seven, as you can see, go gets another one. I mean, at this point, it's like he's playing in the backyard with his kids. But as you can see, on third and 11, he will go get another hurry on the QB. He is not playing. But on first and 10, this running back wasn't going anywhere. That's how you shed the block, get off the block, and make the tackle on the running back. And Aaron Donald's fired up. We're going to win the game. He has six total tackles and three sacks. So our next game in the rain, they didn't even see Aaron Donald. He strike like a lightning bolt and when he intercepted the ball, it took him for six, but he was offsides. But going into the next one, third and six, he gets a sack early on. That's how you hit a quarterback and make a statement and make him hurt early. But on third and eight, he goes and get another sack. But on first and ten, bam! He is not playing. You guys better bam! Watch out. He's not gonna play with you every time he hits you. He's trying to hurt you. Aaron Donald is trying to have a remarkable game. Bam! As he lays this quarterback out and get up with his teammate and say, ha I got him. But on third and three, as you can see, he will go get a QB for another one. This time, he makes him fumble and it's his other d -line and goes for six. But he breaks the school sack record and that's amazing. He is already breaking records and that Heisman, he's coming for. Going into the next one on third and four. Bam! You thought you were safe, QB. This tackle doesn't want to block and he's not going to keep you safe. But not only one, he breaks two records in one game. But as you can see, we're going to get player of the game and he has nine total tackles and seven sacks. Going into our next game against two and six Georgia Tech. I don't know why this quarterback wanted to scramble. Oh, I was clamping Aaron Donald up and he scrambled. He should have just threw the ball, but I club over Rip and went and got a sack and wrapped and rolled him early. And I broke the sack record again. But on second and 10, as you can see, I will hit the running back and made him trip up and fall. But on first and 10, I was getting blocked up. I'm not going to lie, I wasn't having the best game. They go in for six early. I just, I couldn't get anything started. But on second and 10, Aaron Donald does a crazy spin move. Hits the quarterback, makes him fumble, and we did not get on the ball. I mean, I just don't know what these Georgia Tech O-linemen were taking. Aaron Donald just couldn't stab and grab him and push and pull him and do anything he wanted to him, but he hits the quarterback again and makes him fumble. But we're going to win the game. He gets player of the game with six total tackles and three sacks. Going into our next game, when I told you we were licking our chops against ODU, we are licking our chops against Notre Dame. But bam, oh my God, I'm going to put this quarterback out for the game. But on first and five, I go and get a sack to start the game up. And I told them, boys, you're going nowhere. But on first and 10, as you can see, I, oh my God, I, that was a crazy play right there. But on first and 10, I will... Uh, I get the quarterback. That was a great dive by Aaron Donald, but I feel like we haven't been down in one game that we are just fighting adversity and having to come back. We have been up every single game. I think a team needs to challenge us, but guess what? With Aaron Donald, you're not going to be able to because he will throw you to the ground and come around and BAM! We're going to win the game against player of the game with seven total tackles and two sacks. Going to our next game against UNC. BAM! That's why you guys are only a basketball team, and that's how Aaron Donald comes out and starts off in 10. Going to the next way. That's how you club over rip hit that right arm get it out of your way and go get the quarterback man but on third and 11 i come in and sack drake mate again i mean he's gonna have an all night he's in way he's in for a tough one he's all i mate blocking me drake mate and i go in to get another sack as you can see on first and 10 he goes in with another sack on drake mate he is not gonna play with it but on first and 10 boom that's another hurry on drake mate and on second and 10 i went real wide came back inside and hit drake mate with another hurry but on first and 10 bam this running back is gonna have the headache for the rest of his night. Third and six, I got Drake made for another sack. We're going to win the game. Aaron Donald gets player of the game with seven total tackles and five sacks. Going to our next game against Syracuse. When we got in that dome, Aaron Donald was absolutely fired up. He said, this is beautiful. But on first and 10, he got another sack. Got up and said, yeah, boys, this is normal now. But on third and 15, he went and boom, the quarterback again. Hold on, boom. Oh, that wasn't a boom, but he wrapped him rolled the running back. But on third and nine, as you can see, he ran the screen and hit the running back as soon as he got the ball. But on second and 10, boom, being a monster that he is. That's how you run through someone, obliterate them, and go get the quarterback and get the quarterback again the next play. That is very different from a D lineman standpoint. Here's you can see on first and 10, I absolutely hit the running back. The tackle didn't even bother to block me, but on first and 10, I'm just running past his tackle. Made him fumble. My teammate picks up the ball and can he get missing? He would hit that left sideline and he could and he would get hogged. But on second and 14, bam, I met this running back right in the hole. Don't you come my way, boy. But as you can see, I will hawk him down as 
well, so you have nowhere to go. But I get player of the game with 13 tackles and six total sacks. On to our next game against our rivals, the number one Miami. They have to take a loss. They haven't lost one game all season, and Aaron Donald goes in with a sack to start the game up. But on second and 12, that's how you bam him and go get the quarterback at the same time, boys. Y'all not on my level no third and 19. I went and got another second. Get to that ground, boy. You're not on the same level as me. But as you can see, Aaron Donald go gets another sack. He's trying to break the record and show them this is the number one watched game on TV right now. So he has to break records if he wants Heisman. Miami drove down the field and put three on the board to tie the game up. But on second and 13, Aaron Donald hit that boy, made him fumble, and his old lineman picked it up for like a one-yard game. But on second and one, I read it, and bam! Boy, get on the ground. You're not getting the first down. And they, they done unleashed the beast, and I'm out of my cage. And as you can see, I hit the running back again, and I'm not going to play with you. But on third and seven, I read it again, and sit down! Like I said, when they turn Aaron Donald up like this, he turn up bad. But on second and ten, as you can see, he comes in and throw, get down on that ground, boy. And he clapped his hands because you are a little boy to him. But as you can see, we were going to win the game. Aaron Donald gets player of the game, 11 tackles and 7 sacks. To the ACC Conference Championship game, Aaron Donald gets a sack and the crowd roared. But on first and ten, as you can see, he got the quarterback again for a big hurry. And it's time to get at least an ACC championship. And as you can see, he sits Will Shipley down as soon as he catches the ball. But on third and two, he clubs off a of rips and go get the quarterback. And Aaron Donald said he wasn't laying down. But as you can see, this old lineman kind of drove him out of the club. But on third and 12, he bammed the quarterback and made him fumble that ball and got him back. But guess what? We are ACC champions. And guess what? We are in the college football playoffs. We go against number 13 and 0, Penn State. It's time to give them their first L. Going into the college football playoffs against 13 and 0, Penn State. Is this a knockoff? Saquon Barkley. Aaron Donald hit him early on, but on third and 17, bam, he hit him behind the line of scrimmage and told his teammate, let's go, baby. It's time to get this W. We're already up 28 to 0, but on first and 10, I get a sack and wrap him, roll him to the ground. But on second and 10, I read the screen. I'm like, God, Aaron Donald picked the ball, but he dropped it and they somehow caught it. But guess what? We are advancing to the next round and Coach was excited. But as you can see, we are going against the USG Trojans. Let's go. On to the National Championship game. Aaron Donald has already checked one thing off of his list that he had to complete for this challenge. He has already got over 40 sacks, but he has to get a National Championship and he has to win Heisman, so he has to come out here very intense, but on third and goal, as you can see, they drive down the field and score on us early, but on first and ten, Aaron Donald will go get a sack on that quarterback, he made sure to hit him as hard as he could, but as you can see, he hits the running backs and stuff, the hole do not come up my hole. Aaron Donald is going to use any tactics to do to win this ball game, so he hits the quarterback as hard as he could, and the quarterback kind of went in the ground, I'm not going to lie, he got kind of happy, but it's not nothing to brag about, but the quarterback went down and was injured, so it was time to shine, fellas, we have to win the national championship, but the backup quarterback quarterback drives down and they score but guess what we are national champions and coach hold that trophy up and we were absolutely fired up we had the champs newspapers and all Aaron Donald had only one more challenge to beat but he failed it he was the third contender for Heisman but this is the end of Aaron Donald's career he didn't complete the challenge but he had a great season I mean just look at his stats but drop in a comment down below if you guys enjoyed this video what video ideas do you guys want next